Hello everyone, that's you in today's first video, I'm running really late with today's video, so uh, we're going to start off with 5 day forecast, we'll have a look at the weather, it's week 10 days after that, it's a second video which will be coming up later this afternoon than uh, normal, but kicking it all off is a 5 day forecast, so websites you for 5 day forecast can be from weatherout.com and webcentral.com, you can find links to both those websites on the links page, don't forget there's a written version to this 5 day forecast, you can get to that from buttons at the top of the page, so we shall be starting off with the radar picture uh, to Today. So we've had some wet weather in the north and west through the course of this morning, some quite heavy rain uh, across parts of Scotland, particularly western Scotland, down the Irish Sea into Northern Ireland, the uh, north and west of Wales had some rain as well, a little bit down in the southwest of England too. Actually, the bulk of England and Wales has been mostly dry, uh, with decent sunny spells over on the eastern side of the country this morning. But as this band of wet weather gradually, it's going to be a slow process, moves eastward, so we'll find the skies beginning to turn a little bit cloudier in the east through the course of this afternoon. Here's today's top tier pressure chart from wetcentral.d and low pressure is now in control of weather out to northwest Scotland. It's bringing, it, bringing in an Atlantic feeder there, so it's a cooler, fresher feel compared to what it's had uh, over the past few days. Although it's still pleasantly warm over in the east, but tomorrow will be cooler uh, still on the east side. Temperatures pretty much back to average for all parts of the country. So, for the rest of the afternoon, we've got the wet weather in the west and across Scotland. We'll find that band of uh, rain gradually moving eastward, sort of pushing to parts of northern England through Wales in towards the Midlands. Some central southern parts of England by the end of the afternoon could turn a bit damp. That leaves much of East Anglia, South East England, and probably Lincolnshire, staying mostly dry, uh, with uh, sunny spells being increasingly uh, replaced by cloud. To the far north and west, it'll brighten up, actually, uh, across West Scotland and Northern Ireland by the end of the afternoon into the evening. Uh, and it'll turn quite chilly there as the wind turns into the northwest. Temperatures today, still warm in the southeast. 22 degrees is 72 Fahrenheit. Uh, up in the northern west, so much cooler there. Temperatures generally ranging from around 8 to 13 degrees Celsius. Overnight tonight, we find that band of uh, showery rain gradually moving south as the east was becoming lighter and patchier as it does so. Following along behind, this little bump of uh, higher pressure. A little bit of a transient ridge. So we'll take the cloud and rain across the country this season. Comes from quite heavy bursts in the north. Very light and patchy, I think, down in the south. Second half of the night, we'll see that all push away into the North Sea. Skies will clear. And it will become quite cold tonight. With temperatures going down to uh, three or four degrees. So just about avoiding a ground frost. It could be a close run thing in some rural parts of uh, central Britain. But for a Thursday, we're actually going to be some little uh, bit of a transient ridge here, ahead of this next area of low pressure developing out to the west. So we start Thursday with plenty of sunny spells. It'll be a chilly start. Uh, down in the south, I think we generally stay quite dry through much of the day. A few showers could bubble up, and there will probably be quite a bit of cloud filling in the sky. But overall, it's not too bad in the south. Central and northern areas, so we'll like to have showers tomorrow. In the northwest, those showers could be quite heavy, especially parts of western Scotland, perhaps. Uh, temperatures uh, will be cooler, so back to average, uh, ranging from around 8 to 15 degrees Celsius. Friday brings the next area of low pressure in from off the Atlantic, but it's a slow process. We'll have a band of cloud and persistent rain heading into Ireland, Wales, and the far southwest of England. So that rain could be rather heavy. Most other parts of the country are on Friday. We'll have a fairly nice day with uh, decent sunny spells, particularly through the morning. It'll probably turn a little bit cloudy in places through the course of Friday afternoon. It'll be a bit warmer as well in the east, with temperatures perhaps up to 16 or 17 degrees. Of course, with the persistent rain in the southwest, temperatures there uh, struggling to get much above uh, sort of 12 or 13 degrees Celsius. And then into the weekend, it looks rather unsettled, really. not a washout by any means, but low pressure is never too far away. So I think Saturday, we may still have some overnight rain left across some eastern parts of the country, but most of that should go uh, quite quickly. And then it'll be a mix of sunny spells and showers, I would have thought, and one or two of the showers could be quite heavy. They might have a rumble of thunder and maybe a little bit of hail uh, mixed in as well. Temperatures uh, ranging from around sort of 12 to uh, 16. 16 degrees Celsius, so not too far from average. Sunday, we bring another little low pressure into the west. So after a bright morning, it probably turns cloudier in the west with some showery bursts of rain through the course of the sunny afternoon. But again, central and eastern areas, I think, keep the best of the dry 
and bright weather. There may be some heavy showers bubbling up as well in uh, central East parts of the country, however, on Sunday afternoon. Temperatures, again, ranging from around, say, 12 to 16 degrees Celsius, so really not too far from the mid-May average. But as we go into the early part of next week, it looks like we're trying to build in another um, ridge here from the southwest. So probably quite showery up in the north on Monday, but down in the south, I would have thought a reasonable amount of dry, bright weather. Those temperatures might go up to around 17 or 18 degrees. Finally, just having a look at charts and weather outlooks so you can see weather in your area over the next few days. So we've got the cloud and rain in the north and the west for the course of today. The south is uh, hanging on to the dry and bright conditions, warmest temperatures there, the cloud and rain will be pushing in from off the Atlantic during uh, the course of this evening. Into tomorrow, a lot of dry weather in the south, some showers possible in the north. And then on Friday, many parts of the country will be dry, but after sunny morning, probably an increase in cloud through the afternoon, showery rain across Ireland, Wales and southwestern uh, parts of England too. Into the weekend, it's a case of sunshine and showers really for uh, Saturday and then Sunday we might actually get some more general rain in the west could be a few heavy showers over in the east temperatures again remaining very very close to the long uh, term average then we go into many a better day more way of dry and bright weather particularly so in the south where temperatures should be a bit warmer too so, in summary, it's going to be a rather unsettled and changeable five days coming up, but not a washout by any means. There will be plenty of dry uh, weather to be had uh, and some sunny spells at times as well, but generally a little bit cooler and a little bit more unsettled compared to what we've had uh, recently. Come back later on for uh, today's second video update when we'll be extending out beyond the five-day forecast period. But uh, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.